Your Excellency, President Hamid Karzai, distinguished Vice Presidents, distinguished Ministers, distinguished guests. Mr. President, I thank you from the core of my heart for your warm words of welcome and most generous hospitality. This is indeed in the best traditions of Afghanistan, and I, find, I feel extremely privileged to experience, experience this hospitality firsthand today. Thank you, Mr. President, for hosting me and my delegation to this extraordinary banquet. I'm delighted to be here in this very friendly country of Afghanistan. This is an ancient land steeped in history and culture. When I see the love, the affection, and friendships in the eyes of very many faces around me, I know that I am visiting not just a neighbor, but a very, very special friend. The presence of such a large number of prominent Afghanistan personalities here is enriching, I feel greatly honored by their presence amidst us. Mr. President, the bonds between India and Afghanistan have been forged over the centuries. They have tied us together in traditions and faith. They are immortalized in the poetry of Amir Khusru, the shrines of Salim Chishti and Moinedin Chishti, and the grave of Bedil Dahel. Trade, people, and ideas have flowed between our two lands. Afghan fruits and dry fruits are treasured delicacies in India. I've come here, Mr. President, with a message of solidarity, a message of friendship and goodwill from the people of India to the friendly people of Afghanistan. India, Mr. President, is your neighbor and partner in development. You can count on us as you build your society, your economy, and your polity. Mr. President, Afghanistan has endured great suffering and violence. The time has come to put an end to this violence. Afghanistan should be allowed to rebuild itself in the way the Afghan people want it to be. Afghanistan deserves to occupy its rightful place in the global community of nations. Mr. President, we wish to see a peaceful, stable, democratic, and pluralistic Afghanistan that is in harmony with the culture, the genius, and temperament of the people of this great country. We strongly support the Afghan people's quest for peace and reconciliation. India supports firmly the unity, integrity, and prosperity of Afghanistan. Mr. President, Afghanistan has made significant strides under your distinguished leadership. You, Mr. President, are a great patriot who has led his country without fear 
our favor. Your friendship towards India has won the hearts and minds of people in India and made a strong partnership between India and Afghanistan a living and solid reality. Mr. President, the journey ahead for both India and Afghanistan to fulfill the aspirations of our two peoples is a long one. There will be obstacles, but if we stand together, we will achieve our goals. We will prevail. You should have, I suggest, a long-term vision of our relations, and we should act accordingly. We should be ambitious in shaping our future ourselves. We should harness the goodwill that exists between our two peoples and encourage much greater exchanges at all levels, both within and outside government. Mr. President, I once again thank you for such a very special and warm welcome. This will remain forever etched in my memory. In conclusion, Mr. President, please allow me to wish the friendly people of Afghanistan peace, prosperity, and happiness. I thank you.